Listen to the radio interview about credit cards and fill in the missing words. Today on Shepherd's Guide, we have in the studio the financial consultant Sally Heard, who is going to talk about credit cards. Sally, thanks for joining us this afternoon. It's my pleasure. Now, almost everyone has a credit card these days. That's true. It is extremely easy to get a credit card these days. In fact, the minute someone turns 18, they are usually bombarded with offers from credit card companies. Perhaps you could tell us how to choose which company to use. It's a good idea to stick to what you know. If you have an account with a bank for a number of years and you are happy with their service, then I would suggest you get a credit card from your bank rather than a company you have never used before. Now it's easy to get a credit card. Isn't that dangerous for some people? Yes, it can be very tempting to apply for a credit card if you are short of money, which is why so many people run up huge debts on their credit cards and get into serious financial difficulties. The problem is, when the bills land on the doormat, many people do not have the money to pay them, so they put it off until the next month or the next. This means that they end up being charged a fortune in interest. Yes, that's a problem. Do you think that credit card companies should be more careful about who they give cards to? Well, in an ideal world, that is exactly what would happen. Unfortunately, credit card companies make money from the people who have trouble paying off their bills and who struggle to keep up their interest payments. So, how can we beat the credit card companies and use a credit cards to our own advantage? Well, credit cards are very useful for those moments when you are not carrying any cash with you. My advice to anyone is considering getting a credit card is always to keep a note of everything you charge to your card and try to pay off your bills monthly. Sally, thanks for all your advice. Anytime.